Hey guys, Aviation BUR here, and welcome back to another video. Today's video, we have another Pensacola Airport update. This will be the 13th Airport update. Really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you do, please make sure to like and subscribe because it really help me out. Got a new model in today's video. I also would like to go over a couple things about Pensacola coming into the future. Like I said, I hope you guys enjoy. If you do, please make sure to like and subscribe because it really help me out. In any way, let's just get started. I'm going to head on down here where we got the gorgeous Delta 757-200. Sorry, the gate is in the way. This guy is currently uh, just arrived in from Atlanta. He's getting passengers and catering off. And he's going to be heading back out there in about two hours. Um, The Atlanta flight's been doing super strong. We have four 757s and two 737s on that right now. Actually, it might be three 757s and two 737s. But anyways, that flight's super strong. It's either five or six daily. They've been doing really well on that flight. Um, It would be cool to see them add maybe another flight to like Detroit, Minneapolis, maybe even the New York area. Got the Delta 737-900ZR. This guy's currently taxiing out to the runway for the flight on over to Atlanta as well. Um, Like I said, Atlanta flight's doing super strong, Um, and they've been doing a really good job on that flight. Now moving on over here, let me just back this up a little. In the back, we got a, the Frontier 8020 Neo and the Poppy the Prairie Dog Limited. This is our new model. Got this in about three days ago. Um, making it for, making its first appearance here at Pensacola. It's just, it's a really really nice model. I really like it. Uh, I think they did an outstanding job. They just um really nailed this out of the ballpark. This guy just arrived in from Denver and making the return fly back out there. That is a five weekly. Um, but that flight's been super strong. It'd be cool to see them expand maybe with like a Las Vegas route. Southwest 737-800. This guy just arrived in from Houston. He'd be continuing on over to St. Louis. Both these flights have been super strong, especially the Nashville service. That is a three daily. Houston is one. Daily, Dallas is one daily, and I think St. Louis is also one daily. That might be twice daily, though. But all those flights are doing really well. It would be cool to see them expand maybe Chicago Midway route or even Baltimore. Now, moving on over to a beautiful American lineup here, starting here in the front. The American TOJ 900, this guy just arrived in from Charlotte. Going to be continuing on over to Washington, Reagan. That flight's been, been really consistent. The Charlotte flight is, I think, a... Uh, I think it's five daily. They have one eighty twenty, two eighty nineteens, and two CRJ nine hundreds. Um, and then the Washington Reagan I think is a three CRJ nine hundred, but sometimes they substitute it with the eighty nineteen. So that flight's been super strong. Uh, super excited to see. Um, I'm not super excited, but it'd be cool to see them add new routes as always. American AC nineteen with the Charlotte. This guy just arrived in from Dallas. Can be continuing on over to Charlotte as well. Um, like I said about the Charlotte service, that is five daily, one eighty twenty, two eighty nineteens, two CRJ nine hundreds. The Dallas service is a five daily as well, two eighty twenties, three eighty nineteens. So those flights have been doing really, really well. Um, and they've been super strong. American E one seven five. This guy's currently taxing in to gate. Let's hear. There'd be gate. Um. I think gate nine that would be. Yeah, gate nine is where he's gonna be taxiing into um after arriving in from Miami. Um that is a super strong flight. I think that's a once or twice daily. But that flight's been super consistent on the E one seven E one seven five, sorry. And they've been doing a really good job. And finally then on the back we've got the United Express CRJ two hundred. This guy just arrived in from Chicago here. Gonna be making the return flight back out there. That's a one daily CRJ two hundred, and that flight's um been doing pretty well. Maybe it'd be cool to see them upgrade to an E one seven five in the near future. Um, that's about it. I would like to go over a couple other things. United has been doing pretty well, especially with the Houston route. We got two E one forty fives and then a seven thirty eight or seven three nine arriving in later. Um, Allegiant also did have a flight here. I think it was from Knoxville, somewhere in Tennessee. Um, and basically, I'll show you where it was. So basically, you got the terminal right here. Basically, it was right, probably right around here is where they parked. There's a little ramp section right around here. 
So that's where um, it, they would have parked. Um, but it was interesting to see that Allegiant had a flight here. I wanted to encompass it, but it was just not within space of the mat. And I didn't really want to fix it. Or, um, sorry, add on to it. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Uh, I know it was a bit of a longer update. Um, but I hope you guys enjoy. Make sure to like and subscribe. It would really help me out. And I'll see you all in the next one.